me, me and Justin Bieber were supposed to be puberty buddies. We were supposed to hit puberty at the exact same time, but I, I just couldn't wait any longer. He, he just kept holding out, and I'm just like, you're, you, you're ridiculous, dude. I mean, I, I honestly think he must have made a deal with the devil. Like, Satan, I want to be insanely talented musically, and I want to be extremely good looking for all my life. Okay, Justin, I will grant this point. But there's one condition. What's that? Your balls will never drop. I was trying to talk over the idea with my best friend, and he, he told me, he's like, I mean, you're funny, but you're not really a stand-up comedian. I was like, oh, am I more of a sit-down comedian? Like, I, I get this text saying, Michael Mentz has requested to add you as a friend on Facebook. Now, if you, in case you don't remember, my name is Michael Mentz. So I'm just staring at this text for like 20 minutes, and eventually I just delete it and ignore it, assume it's some sort of crazy glitch. Because even if there is another Michael Mentz in the world, not my friend. So I, I just ignore him and go about my day until my brother comes up to me later and goes, dude, dad got a Facebook. To which I remember, oh yeah, I'm a junior. But, uh, but I want to say that the worst thing you could ever do to me is cheat on me. And I'm thinking to myself, that's an extremely bold statement. The worst thing <laughs> that I can ever do to the girl is cheat on her. So, I've devised a plan, you know, so I can get away guilt-free. If I ever decide that there's another girl that I might want to be with, I'm just going to kill her. 